Hey everyone, in this video we will be learning about panning of maps and then getting the centerized pin latitude and longitude whenever our map is panned. So it is same as like how Uber application does it inside their app that is the user is allowed to pan the map and the uh, lat respective latitude and longitudes can be got from the centerized pin. So let's get back to the video itself in order to learn. So alright, so this is my Xamarin Forms application which is supporting our map panning so here i'm just panning the map and then you can see over here we can get the latitude and longitude of the centerized position of the pin so here we are using apple maps as of now for the ios and google maps for our android so uh, we are using here xamarin.forms.maps plugin which is uh, supported by the microsoft itself and then we have another project too that is a community contribution one that is xamarin.forms.google maps so don't get confused with xamarin.forms.google maps and then the microsoft plugin that is xamarin.forms.map so in this tutorial i am using xamarin.forms.maps so you can use xamarin.forms.google maps too no issues if you want to add uh, both uh, google maps to android and ios then you can use uh, this plugin or else you can uh, use this xamarin.forms.maps to get uh, inbuilt uh, map controls so first thing first we are going to uh, see what is there inside our project and how it's getting started so uh, we have to go follow and uh, follow up with the microsoft documentation in order to do it so here you can see we have a map initialization that is on the ios this should occur on app delegate by invoking this class so let's see whether uh, this project has uh, uh, been initialized or not so i'm just going to walk through the whole process so that uh, uh, you can understand what's happening so we have initialized it in the ios that's great so on the android end uh, we have this state that need to be added so on the android end uh, that is inside the main activity uh, here we have to see we have added that uh, the map map plugin or not over here so after adding that plugin then you have to add, add this code so in order to add that plugin you need to go over here manage nuget package then xamarin.forms.forms.maps so you are going to use this plugin into uh, all the project that is shared android and ios project so our android and ios codes are okay and we have already initialized to both android and ios project then our next work is to add uh, if you have uwp app then you have to add this line of code and then uh, insert the authentication token uh, that uh, that you get from uh, your uh, google maps then our next uh, work is to uh, go through the platform configuration where we are going to add this line of code for our ios project so we have to copy this line of code copy it copy it from here then go to the ios project info.p list go to the reveal in finder so you have to find that uh, file in the finder and then edit it with the um, text editor so i have a text editor over here which helps me to add this line of code paste it over here and uh, press com com command plus s and if you are using windows then you can use text edit where which helps you to just edit that file and then save it so we are good to go with uh, the platform specific implementation for the ios then let's go to the uh, the info dot uh, list in entries can also be added in the source so you can see over here these are the sources we can add it over here styling like that then uh, our next thing is to configure our android project so this is a mandatory step you know to implement uh, google map api keys so in order to implement this google map uh, api key we have to uh, go through this api documentation and then we have to go to the console let's go to the console and then if we visit the console then basically we need to do this uh, instruction in order to obtain a google map api key so let's go to google map obtaining google map api key so how we are gonna obtain that google map api key so we have to create a project as you have seen over here so let me uh, add a new project by going to the console let's create a new project 
so this is my uh, new project over here now I'm just going to add my Zaxf map app okay so I'm just going to create so this is my Xamarin forms map app that we have and then we are going to create map SDK for Android then we have to enable it for this project my xf xamarin forms my xamarin forms map app so after enabling it let's go back then our next work is to go to the api section so my maps sdk for android is done now we have to go to the credential section create credentials api key then we have to create credentials in api as well as services create credentials api key so our api key is created then we just need to copy it and then use it inside our app so basically it is telling the same thing We don't need to implement this full step in order to uh, add that API keys. So now uh, our next work is to use this code and then use the API key. So inside the application tag, we need to copy and paste this code. So let's go back to the Android project. Let's go to the Android manifest source code editor then we need to paste that line of code and then paste that api key over here so the api key that we got from this project was this one so we are going to add it and then paste it over here all right so we have com uh, completed our configuration on the android end then we have to add the declaration within the application tag that that is this one we just need to add it so if you are specifically specifying the google play services version number then you can add it over there then uh, this is the code that i have added over here in my code in order to complete this uh, integration of uh, maps then uh, we need to add this uh, external storage so i have added that to right external storage you can see over here then we have to uh, specify local per permissions too so i have added that uh, whole code over from here to here then our next work is to access co coastal location as well as find location we have already activated it and if that is not there then you can go over here inside your app and then you have to close it and then go over here and double click it then you can see over here we have to enable this uh, coastal location as well as uh, find location then you don't need to do anything over here uh, inside the app then uh, inside main main activity let me show you the code that i have written over here so this is the code that i have written inside the um, main activity.cs in order to ask for the permission whenever the application is started so this will ask for the permission before uh, the application loads so this that is same as like uh, same instruction that ha it has uh, provided the document has provided then we are okay with the uh, android configuration after that then for uwp we are not going to configure as of now then that's all now you can run the app uh, but let me show you the code that has been written for our uh, shared code so we have a grid a basic grid and then we have a grid that is divided into two parts that is 350 height as well as the infinite height over here so infinite height will take uh, the lateral as longitude and you can design everything from here on this grid dot row one and then grid dot row zero is going to take our maps that is of 350 height and then the map type is hybrid and then uh, it has zoom enable as false that means that means we are going to disable the zoom property of that uh, map because we want to pan that map correct so that is why we have uh, disabled that thing and 
on the change property then we are going to set uh, the latitude and longitude uh, to the pin position changes so uh, for adding the pin i have added a image so you can see over here just an image of height 50 and then which, which is going to be at the center of the map so that we after the uh, whole map is pinned then uh, this pin is going to get the latitude and longitude of the centerized position right so whenever this uh, map is panned let's go to the uh, code behind of the uh, pan page then here you can see uh, this is the code for uh, panning panning property changes then uh, along with that don't forget to add the images to the drawable folder of android map in png and then resources folder of ios project to get uh, correct output then your next work is to uh, get the panning property uh, changes that is our map pan property changes then for each property change then we are going to get the map items from here and then whenever that map is visible that is uh, which is like the visible region is uh, not false then if the application is for the first time that is whenever the application loads then we'll get this property and then what you have to do is you have to return the user uh, back with the user latitude and longitude so this is right now my user latitude and longitude so you are going to create a method over here and then get the first user latitude and longitude where he is or as well as she is uh, to get the user correct location at first and then it is going to return back now whenever the user starts panning then this first time condition is going to be false and then only we are, you are going to call the latitude and longitude to get uh, whenever the map uh, panning property changes so uh, for the first time we are going to return back and then for the second time then only uh, the panning property value changes whenever user uh, tries to pan the map and uh, in order to get the latitude as well as longitude so why not to try it on the ios uh, because ios will work fine but i just want to try it on the android if it works fine or not so we have changed the uh, api key let's see whether it gives us correct output or not let me start my project on the android end if we are getting correct output or not and then yes we we are getting correct output that is latitude as well as longitude whenever our application starts so uh, that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials